So in this problem, we need to determine the value of the sum of sine 105 degree and cosine of 105 degree. To solve this problem, we will be applying the transformation formula. But the issue here is we have the first term represented in terms of a sine function and the second term is a cosine function. To be able to apply the transformation formula, both of the two trig functions must be exactly the same, must, meaning both of them must be sine function or both of them must be cosine function. So our first goal will be to convert one of the trig function to the other. That means if we start with sine function, then we will key, uh, will convert cosine function to its corresponding sine function. So let's do that. So here we have sine 105 degrees added to cosine 105 degrees. So let's do one thing. Let's try to convert cosine to sine. To do that, all we have to do is rewrite the angle 105 degree of cosine. So cosine of so 105 degree can be also expressed as 90 degree plus 15 degree. It means exactly the same thing, but there's an added advantage to it because we know that if we have cosine of 90 degree plus theta, so that's become equals to negative sine theta. So we'll use this particular formula. So we were going to get now sine 105 degrees minus the cosine of 90 plus 15 will become negative sine 15 degrees. Right. So this is one way. Or the other way is we can convert the sine function to cosine function. For that, we will be using the fact, so let's rewrite this. So uh, we have sine, so in place of 105, we will have 90 degree plus 15 degrees plus cosine, we will keep the angle as 105 degree. Now here, we will be using the fact that sine 90 degree plus theta, so that's equals to positive cosine theta. So meaning sine 90 degree plus 15 degree will become cosine 15 degree. So we have cosine 15 degree plus cosine 105 degree. So we can either go with this one or this one. Both of them are going to give us the uh, correct answer to the problem. Now let us begin. So if we start with, let's say, we'll do both of them. Okay. So let's say we start with part one, sine 105 degree minus sine 15 degree. So we'll be using a transformation formula here. Let's state the formula. We know that whenever we have the difference of two sine function, so that's given by the product two times cosine of alpha plus beta over two times sine of alpha minus beta over two. So here we will suppose that alpha, let it be equivalent to 105 degrees and beta, let it be 15 degrees. So we'll substitute the value of alpha and beta with 105 and 15 degrees respectively. So that's going to give us sine 105 degree minus sine 15 degrees will then become equals to two times cosine of, so we have 105 added to 15 degrees, so that gives us 120 degrees. We divided by two, multiplied to sine 105 minus 15, so that's 90 degrees, so we have 90 degrees divided by two. So this will be equals to two times cosine of 60 degrees times sine 45 degrees. Now we know the value of cosine 60 degrees, so that has a standard value of half. So we have two times one half, multiplied to sine 45 degrees. The so two and two gets factored out and that leaves us with the value sine 45 degree. So here in our options, we see that option one is sine 45 degree, fine. Now let's try out the second one, cosine 15 degree plus cosine 105 degrees. Now here we have cosine 15 degrees plus cosine 105 degrees. Now clearly here we have the sum of two cosine functions. So we'll have to use another transformation formula. Cosine of alpha plus beta equals to two times cosine of alpha plus beta over two multiplied to cosine of alpha minus beta over two. So let us suppose here, so let's take alpha as greater than beta. So alpha, we will consider it to be 105 degree and beta as 15 degree. It doesn't really matter whichever alpha or beta you choose, but I'm making sure I'm keeping alpha as greater than beta so that it becomes easier when we compute alpha minus beta. So let's substitute this value. So cosine of uh, 15 alpha. So alpha we have considered to be 105 degrees plus cosine of beta. So beta is 15 degrees. So this will be equals to two times cosine of alpha plus beta. So that's 120 degree divided by two. That's going to give us 60 degrees. 
multiplied to cosine of so 105 minus 15 that's 90 degree divided by 2 gives us 45 degree so cosine 60 that's half the so 2 times half will be 1 we are left with cosine 45 degree so we get another result cosine 45 degree and when you go back to options we see that option number 3 as also cosine 45 degrees. So this is also going to be correct. So we have two values for sine 105 degree added to cosine 105 degree. One is going to be sine 45 degree and the other is going to be cosine 45 degrees.